All right, so uh, I, I can't wrestle him. All right, so his, the, his initial energy, there's a yield, and then boom, there is a ground back three. There's a CoQ, yield, pop. And then when I do that, I don't need tension in my arms, so pop, it's easy. Pull. So first, CoQ production, and then you're gonna have another one when he comes around, so I'm just, I'm just guiding this. He comes around, come around like you mean it. Pull. And he'll hit your hand as he tries to get his height. So, boom. I'm not here shoving this down. I wait for him to get up, boom. That's what causes that. Then here, I move to where that's going to be in place. I don't turn this. I move to where it's going to be. And then I'm just waiting for him to come around. So, boom, you around, up, pull you, move in place, wait for him. So, no contestation. Then same thing at the end. Here, boom, he hits that. Don't wrestle this down. Go around. Go around. Go around. Boom. It's subtle, but it's there. Up. Boom. Boom. Go, go around it. concept of Wu Wei is not to do anything yet it happens, okay? So, but better to do the right actions. To do the right action that allows for what's happening to happen, okay? So, uh, when you're here, you get that second, boom, hook you. This, this hand, if you look at it, somewhere in space, it's already in the Nikyo on my shoulder, okay? But I can move in some weird places where it's not. So this, right where it is, that's where I'm gonna to try to put my shoulder, okay? I mean, how it is. Don't move it. Don't require any grip strength by leaving it where it is. And instead, move where that goes without any turning of it. That is what you're trying to do. So, up, boom, right here. I want it to be where I don't have to turn it. I don't need any strength at all. And then when I get here, then I have this three contact grip, okay? And again, if he stays here, no problem. But in the technique, he comes around to a grasp, and that's when he puts himself in the technique. So, up, in, boom, this. Leave it where it is. Feel when you need torque or thumb pressure or grip pressure. And that, where you move, where you don't have those things, that's where Ignitio is. So here you 
have this small window of opportunity, okay? And you're not going to crank this guy. You're not going to get it. So you just stop it from going down, okay? And you go around it. You see? Then you continue this fire. I'm moving this way. Then it's on my body. My body, my body's doing it. Okay? And I'm holding it. Then like always, elbows on the front side of your spine, never on the back side of your spine, front side of your spine. Side of the spine lands there. Here, front side of the spine. Here, uh, I'm exaggerating it. Here. Well, front side is fine. Don't just do that with your hands. So, and the yin yang world, they go through phases. So you have to complete the phase, one phase, before you go to the next phase, but you don't go past the completion of the previous phase. Okay, so, uh, boom, you're coming around. And then you lose, you lose the arm because it's too far away, okay? And then he comes up, and then you go do that. But it's when you lose, when, when the arm, when you come around and he drops out of your elbow, that's when you come up, you see? So you're not, there's no time when you're, you're kind of like this. He'll, he'll pop out of my grip, boom, and I come up to the, to the wrist. So I don't lose contact. Boom. Movement is relaxed, but there's an internal aspect. So I, I could do like I could go I'm doing it relaxed. See. And there's no percussion to him. See, there's no percussion. But there was a percussion, right? So you had the first one, oh, oh, and then you had this one, oh, and then you had this one. So we're going to go to standing because you can see it more. Because his energy is coming into me, I'm bouncing off the ground and uh, coherent it out, okay? So same thing, pop, pop, pop. 